All right, now I'm having a battle against Pokemaster 164. He used Grass Nut, which I survived only because I had Rindleberry attached to my Swamp Hurt. He lost 10% of his health because his Zazzle holds a Life Orb. And then I did Stealth Rock to set up. And then he just knocked me out, and which I expected, of course. Such a big deal, really. Alright, so then I do U-turn because I'm faster with the Choice Scarf, and then I can just switch into whoever I want. And since he's likely to do oh, a fire attack, we're just going to switch into Suicune. Just like that. And then we'll just let my own Nazoth take the final blow of his Azoth. So then we both have to change Pokemon. I'm gonna go with Ninjask because then I can always baton pass up what I want if I need to. So I'll just sword stance because I knew I would automatically survive if because of having Focus Sash and he didn't have Stealth Rock and Play. So now we're gonna do Aerial Ace in case he has Vacuum Wave or something like that. that after doing a Flamethrower. So that takes care of the Blaziken. So now he brings up Porygon and Z. And it can do pretty good damage. And it's probably going to discharge. But I don't really have any good Pokemon that can take it. So I'm just going to stay in there and do Aerial Ace. Well, maybe not discharge, Thunderbolt, rather. I guess he decided to nasty plot. He was hoping I would have baton passed. And it's just because of getting off the Sword Stance, but I would. Didn't plan on doing that. So now his Porygon Z is pretty much doomed for the most part. And so he switches in Scissor, her, which is a pretty good move because it, it took a lot of damage though from Aerial Ace just because of me getting a, a the, the sword stance. So I'm gonna baton. That's right here. Or because I knew it would bullet punch. And I'm going to bring in Garros because Garros is just a god after her getting baton passed in a sword stance or two. And especially since I got a bunch of speed. Now I screwed up there. Instead of doing in Waterfall, I should have done Dragon Dance because then I could have raised my attack even farther. I mean, it didn't. it's probably not going to matter, but it would have been smarter. And then I do Waterfall to totally obliviate his Gardevoir. And then his Porygon Z is going to have Thunderbolt, so I'm just going to do Waterfall to get rid of that. And the reason why your heroes lose his health every turn is just because of Life Orb. I like it just because then I get the extra power, which is sometimes what you need.